Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about number 746 in the Lee Code problem set, uh, Min Cost Climbing Stairs. Uh, this problem is an easy problem and one of the few problems that have that has so many likes on Lee Code. All right, let's get into the problem. So on a staircase, the ith step has some um, non-negative cost. Uh, so it's going to give you an array. And so at index i, that's the cost. And 0 is indexed. Once you pay the cost, you can either climb one or two steps. You need to find minimum cost to reach the top of the floor. And you can either start from the step with index 0 or the step with index 1. So here are the examples. Um, usually when I do problems, I like to read the notes first to see how fast my solution needs to be. So it says cost will have a length in the range 2 to 1000 inclusive. And every cost at I will be an integer in the range 0 to 999. So not too big here and the length isn't too big either. All right. So the example says 10, 15, 20 as the cost, and then outputs 15 because you can step on this one and basically get to the top without stepping on 20. And then for example 2, we'll actually get to that in whiteboard. Okay, so here I have a similar example and then we'll get to this example. So it says 1, 4, 7, so we'll return 4, so 4. So what the approach to this problem should be is you want to calculate um, at each index the previous two's minimum cost and then add that on. So as you add the costs on, then you would have a cumul cumulative value at the end. And then at the end, you will compare the last two elements of the array and get the minimum of that, which is your answer. So right here, I pulled example two from um, the interface. So this is example two, and we're just going to go through the, the array. So for memory purposes and simplicity purposes, modifying the original array is actually a more, optim a, a more optimal option. So we're also going to start at index two because it needs the two previous indices. And index zero and one doesn't need to have any change. So right here we have one, 100, 1, 100, and then at index 2, it takes the minimum of 0 and 1, which is 1. So it adds that on, which gets you 2, and then 1 is the minimum of 102, which is 2. So you add on 3, and then this one takes this minimum of 2, so 3 again. And then the 100 takes 3 because they're all 3s, and then so it's 103. And then the 1 takes the 3 here, which makes it 4. And this one takes 4, which makes it 5. And 100 takes, um, 100 should take 4 here. And then, um, 1 takes the 5, which makes the final one 6. So, right here, we've um, iterated through the array and modified all its values. So what we need to do once we finish the array is we return the minimum of these two, which is six, and the answer to that is to that example is six as well, as you can see here. So let's start coding this problem. This problem should be fairly easy, in my opinion. Um, not a lot of lines of code, so let's just start by iterating through the array, which starts at in this index 2, as I've previously mentioned. So you want it to stop when i is equal to cost.length, so that's our condition there. And inside, this is the interesting part of this problem. So you want i at cost at i be equal to the, the minimum of the previous two. So cost at i minus 1 and cost at i minus 2. Now that this is finished, the array is already constructed. 
So um, I'm just gonna print out the array here um, for better visualization. So here's the array. And right here, we return very important step here. Make sure um, when you're calling the index, it's subtracted by one first. And then costs dot length subtracted by two. All right, so that's our solution. So let's run the code. And it's gonna actually going to give us all zeros, which isn't that helpful. Uh, so let's switch to this one. And we seem to have gotten a wrong answer. Um, let's see why we got a wrong answer. Um, so I put this here. And then I put this here. Um, oh, here's why. As I previously mentioned, you need to actually sum up the indices instead of just adding. So that should solve the problem. All right, there we go. So now, as you can see, this array is actually the same as this one that I constructed over here. And that is how you approach this problem. So let's submit this. And we've passed. So it's a one millisecond runtime, faster than 83.06%, per so pretty good. Memory could be better. Um, so climbing stairs, if you haven't checked out my video on climbing stairs, make sure to check it out. It's a very similar problem to this, and it's pretty interesting. All right, so let me just finish up with this problem. So let's analyze the time complexity of this solution. So with one for loop and a min, it's basically a O of n solution. So pretty good, it's linear time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna um, check out more of my programming videos, go to my channel page. Um, and remember to like and subscribe.